Hello and welcome to this drum lesson for Digital Bath by the Deftones. So this is um, the great Abe Cunningham on drums, who's one of my favourites. Um, always loved his playing. Um, this song's pretty tricky, so and there's so much going on with it. So what I'm going to try and do in this video is just sort of break down the um, a kind of a, a kind of amalgamation of the groove in the sections because basically what he's doing is adding so many different ghost notes and little flourishes here and there that it's 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 not just here's the here's the pattern um, but what I'm going to do is sort of get to the the nucleus of what he's doing. So let's get straight into it. In the verse, this is the verse pattern we're looking at. Um, it's quite a linear pattern, which is where we don't play two sound sources at the same time. We obviously do in sec in bits of it, but it, the feel is quite linear. Um, so essentially, the bare bones of the pattern is like this. Okay, so let's break that down. So we're doing, the first bit is the tricky bit. So we're doing the hat on beat one and then the last 16th note of beat one. Now I'm gonna simplify the kick so we can get this hat part. So it's like, so that's kind of the first bit. So you're on one and then the last 16th note of one and then the back beat. And then after that, we're basically just playing the off beats on the hi-hat and then the snare drum. So it's like this. Now that is kind of, that isn't the whole pattern, but that is the kind of backbone of the of the verse pattern. Um, so to, to make it more like the actual pattern, that there's a double kick at the front. Okay, double kick at the front. Then there's another kick, the last 16th note of beat two and three. Now that is pretty close to the to the skeleton of the beat. The only other, to make it a little bit more like the groove because he doesn't actually play that that stripped back ever of the pattern is on beat three we're adding this extra hi hat on the sixteenth note before the off beat so it's like. So that's like an extra hi-hat. Now this, that, that is pretty much what he's doing, the, the kind of real skeleton of it. Um, so yeah, from there, that's kind of the basis. And then it's just adding stuff and taking stuff away. And then, like I say, there's loads of different um, variations on what he's doing. Um, one of the main variations that he builds on is beat three. So in beat three, where I added the extra hi-hat, there's, there's lots of different variations on the hi-hat that it'll do. A really nice one is doing a left, left, right, and it starts on the second 16th note. So it's like this. Beat three, he's doing lots of nice little variations. That's like a little left, left, right. But it's starting on the second sixteenth note, so you've got a, you've got that that kind of gap on the first beat of beat three. Um, 
And like I did there, there's some, some nice tom fills. Lots of rack tom in this tune, which is cool. Um, and floor tom, obviously. But um, yeah, he, he messes around with that beat three. Some, in the second verse, he'll play. Um, he, he doesn't do that, that, leave that 16th note. He'll play straight onto the three, so it's more like. And also, all over it, which is beautiful, is these buzz strokes. There's buzz strokes and there's, there's um, subdivided singles. So obviously a subdivided single is your... ...is getting one stroke and going, subdividing it. And then buzzes, which is just buzzing that one stroke. So it's kind of, as an, as a, an example, something like this. That's the verse, basically, um, and yeah, like I said, there's loads of stuff going on with it. The kind of chorus section is this really nice, really nice flammy thing, um, where I'll just play it for you. It's like this. like going he's doing kicks on one and one last sixteenth note of beat one and then these flams blap blap sometimes he just just does flam flam kick and other times flam kick flam kick which kind of really gives this section momentum and he's he pretty much switches between them so he'll do just flams no kicks and then flams kicks so it'd be like Um, 16th note triplet feels scattered across. Um, also, in that that chorus breaks out into this really nice quarter note, just big quarter note feel on the hi hat. So you're doing like two snares on beat two. God, 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 um, So yeah, I mean, there's there's loads and loads and loads and loads of feels and variations in this. So go and have a listen to the track. Have a watch of my cover, um, and yeah, hopefully that that gives you some some pointers and some help. So thanks for watching. Cheers.